Today on this snowy Thursday morning, we've got live team coverage of the bot storm. KRDO News Channel 13's Katie Spencer is live with a look at road conditions in Woodland Park. Stephanie Sierra live in Monument. And Storm Tracker 13's Abby Oconee keeping an eye on how much snow we'll see with the forecast and you weather on the ones in just a moment. But first, we have some closings and delays to tell you about this morning. Just in is Manitou School District 14. That district is closed. Colorado Springs School District 11 will not have classes today. Academy District 20 has announced they are closed due to weather as well. Falcon District 49 is closed today. Falcon High is having an E-Day in which students attend classes online. Miami Yoder School District JT60 in Pueblo, two hours late this morning. You can find that entire list on our website, krdo.com, or scrolling along the bottom of your screen. And at 5.01, we want to check in on this storm and how long we'll expect to see this snow in your weather on the ones. Thanks so much. Good morning, John, Dana, and all. Snow will be continuing on and off throughout the day tomorrow, lasting through early tomorrow morning before coming to an end right around noon on Friday. This morning, we are already seeing some light snow accumulations within Teller County. Here's a check at Cripple Creek where we've got chilly temperatures. It's our Century Casino neighborhood weather network camera. Uh, 12 degrees in Pueblo at this hour. Some pockets of reduced visibility. Falling snow for some areas in the Steel City. It's our Parkview Medical Center neighborhood weather network camera. Remember those blue hues indicating where we're seeing some snow. And get this, it's stretching all the way from the high country through the Mile High City, dropping south along the Palmer Divide, and uh, taking place in the Pikes Peak region. The heaviest stuff right now falling between Castle Rock and Monument. Monument, it's coming for you here in the next hour or so. Ongoing snow continuing within Colorado Springs and Woodland Park. Now, how much snow can we see uh, today through early tomorrow? I'm expecting anywhere between two to five inches for Monument, one to four in uh, Colorado Springs, four to eight for Woodland Park, one to three inches along the lower Arkansas River Valley to the southwest of Pueblo, four to ten inches with three to six for the southwest plains. We do have several different winter weather alerts in effect. In the red, winter storm warnings. In the white, winter weather advisories. Remember to really take it easy today as I am expecting just tricky traveling not only this morning but throughout the rest of the day today. Temperatures are dangerously cold. Try to stay indoors as much as possible. We've got a real field temperature of just 11 to below in Colorado Springs, 2 below in Pueblo. We will be continuing our team coverage. And like right now, we'd like to take things over to KRDO News Channel 13's Katie Spencer, who is live with Intel County this morning. Katie, how are conditions out there right now? Yeah, good morning, Abby. We're in Woodland Park right now where it is uh, snowing a little harder than when we left the studio in downtown Colorado Springs. There's probably about a half an inch um, that has fallen here so far. Conditions aren't bad. The roads are definitely snow packed. We did just see a plow um, going on Highway 24. Uh, there is a little uh, bank temperature gauge right here that says it's negative five out. So it is definitely very, very, very cold this morning. So if you're going out, put on those layers, put on those hats, put on those gloves and give yourself some extra time and space. Uh, like I said, you know, there wasn't much going on in Colorado Springs when we left uh, the studio this morning. But as we headed up here through Teller County, up through Cascade, now we're in Woodland Park, uh, things are definitely getting heavier, getting thicker. So, um, you know, give yourself some extra time and space. We will, of course, continue to bring you updates throughout the morning. We're now going to send it over to KRDO News Channel 13, Stephanie Sierra, who is live in Monument this morning. Stephanie, what's going on there? Good morning, Katie. Yes, as you said, negative five in Woodland Park. It is one degree, so slightly warmer here in Monument, but not by much. As far as snow is concerned, blistery winds, we're really seeing that here today. But it's a buildup of snow, even on the ground right now. It's just maybe a half a centimeter. We're not seeing too much. As far as the side streets are concerned, we can definitely see that build up throughout the morning. And again, we'll be keeping a close eye on that for you. Behind me, I know it might be hard to see, but I-25, there are many cars out on the road that are trying to probably beat the traffic and the storm and get, getting to work this morning. 
But again, we've seen close to five and six snow plows pass us as we headed up today. So we crews are getting ready to, to battle this storm. Um, again, it's not too bad on I-25, not too bad here in Monument yet. I say yet, but we'll be keeping a very close eye on that and keep you updated. Reporting live in Monument, Stephanie Sierra, KRDO News Channel 13. Well, Stephanie, thank you. Here's a look at I-25 in Woodman in Colorado Springs and a few cars venturing out and about. The interstate, for the most part, is still in pretty good condition, but with these bitter cold temperatures and as the snow continues to fall, you may run into some slick and icy spots on your commute.